So you finally learned how to solve a cube, but you want to get a little bit faster without having to learn too many algorithms. Here are a couple of tips that will help you get faster. Number one, do the cross on the bottom. The first step to solving a cube is solving the cross on top. Then you'll have to rotate to start the next step. That's not good because it'll waste a little bit of time, so the best way to do it is to just solve the cross on the bottom and then go straight into first layer. At first, solving the cross on top will feel much better and it will be faster, but once you get used to it, solving cross on bottom will be much faster. Number two, learn basic finger tricks. In the last step, you'll be doing this algorithm. And that's where the U2 flick is gonna come in handy. So when you'll use the U2 flick is the second to last move because you have two U's in a row and doing this just isn't very efficient. So instead of doing this, you can do this. So the way you can do the U2 finger trick is by doing this. A normal U move followed by another one with your middle finger. This will result in a pretty fast sequence of moves. Soon enough when you get faster, your soons will look exactly like this. The next basic finger trick you should learn is M2. Here's an algorithm with only M moves. Next, an algorithm with M2 moves. The M2 flick is useful in the U perms, H perms, and Z perms. So there are two ways to do M2 flicks, and here's the one that I use first. You do an M move with your middle finger, followed by an M move with your ring finger. It'll feel really unnatural at first, but it will make your algorithms much more fast. So the next way you can do M2 flicks is by doing the ring finger first, followed by the middle finger. Here's what it looks like from the back. It's pretty fast, but I'm not used to it and it does feel unnatural. Number three, preserving pairs. Sometimes while doing the first layer, you'll run into a case like this, and if you try to insert it normally, it doesn't preserve the pair. So the way to preserve the pair is, if you look on the top, that color should match this front color. So if you have it like this, it's wrong because red and green don't match, red and orange don't match, red and blue don't match, but if you have it like this, you have it in the right orientation. If the white sticker is on the left, you do this algorithm, R, U prime, R prime, and that will preserve the pair. However, if you did the first step and match the top with the front, but the white sticker is on the right side, you can do this algorithm, L prime, U, L, and that should preserve the pair. Number four, for look last layer. This one is more optional as you will have to learn algorithms to do it, but it's really useful once you learn it. The first step of for the glass layer is the same as normal. Get the top cross, but you'll have to learn one algorithm for each specific case that you get after solving the cross. You'll have to learn six algorithms for OLL and five algorithms for PLL. I have a two look OLL tutorial and it's the link in the description, but if you wanna check out a two look PLL tutorial, I have another link in the description for JPERMs. Number five, extra tips. So after solving the yellow cross, you'll rotate and you can run into one of two cases where the yellow sticker is facing you or where the yellow sticker is facing out. When the yellow sticker is facing out, you can do this move twice and it'll solve. But if you run into this situation, you'll have to do it four times. and that is really time consuming. So something you can do that makes it much faster is do the inverse of the move I just showed you. So it goes like this, U, R, U prime, R prime. Do this only twice and it'll solve. This next tip is for first layer. For first layer, you can run into a couple of cases. This is the first one where you do sexy move once and it goes in, however, this is a really annoying case as you'll have to do sexy move five times just for it to go in. Well, you don't really have to. All you have to do is rotate and do the lefty version of that algorithm. You'll notice that it's the exact same case but with the white sticker on the left side instead. This is the algorithm you can do to get the corner in really fast. L prime, U prime, L. Faster, it looks like this. This is the final case, it's not too bad, but it's still pretty annoying. So instead of having to do sexy move three times, you can just do this short algorithm, 
r u2 r prime and then now you have this case so you can just bring it to this side and then you'll have the first case this isn't too fast but it's better than having to do sexy move three times faster it looks like this so those were all the tips I have for you today. If you benefited from this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.